Hey guys, what's up? I'm Kristen, and welcome to the tutorial video of the V-Park Box 30 kit. Today I'll be showing you how to prepare the device, and the best part, how to use the device. So first we're going to be taking a look at the device, and to power the device, simply flick the switch from off to on. Simple and easy. So once you power the device, your OLED screen will display your battery life, your wattage, your puff timer, and then any error messages that might come up. So to change the wattage on your device, simply use this dial here to either decrease the wattage or increase the wattage. So to fire up your device, you simply push the fire button here and hold it for the duration of your puff. And the OLED screen displayed along here will show how long your puff was after releasing the fire button. So now that you guys have seen the device, we're going to take a look at the Max Tank Mini. As you can see, there is a dual adjustable airflow along the bottom. One and two. And the drip tip also has adjustable airflow, as you can see here and here. So I'm going to show you guys how to switch off the coil now. So you're going to go ahead and unscrew the bottom of the tank. There's your coil. Whenever you're switching it out, go ahead and take out the old one, throw it away, and the nice thing about these is they're threadless, so you can just pop them in. But first, I'm going to show you guys how to prime the coil. All right, so to prime your new coil, go ahead and grab your e-juice, and you're going to drop one to two drops in the top to saturate the cotton. Just right down the middle. And you can also saturate some of the sides as well. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and let it sit for a few minutes just to fully saturate the cotton. Once it's fully saturated, go ahead and pop it back in, just like that, and screw the bottom back on. So now that your coil is all primed and ready to go, you can fill your e-juice in the top of the tank. It's top fill, which makes it easy. There you go. And there's two places to insert the e-juice, right along the chimney. Just fill it along either side. And make sure that you don't overfill the tank so that it doesn't leak. There you go, it's all ready to go. And put your top back on. All right, and now you're ready to vape it. All right, so now that your juice is all filled up and ready to go, uh, you just want to make sure that your mod is fully charged, so we're going to take a look at that. So along the bottom here, you can see the USB port. All you have to do is lift up the silicone casing here, and that's to protect any dust or dirt from getting inside. And with your cord, you simply insert it, and then you can charge it. And it charges really fast, in about 35 to 45 minutes. It's an internal battery, so you have to make sure that the device is turned off in order for it to charge. All right guys, so now your device is all ready to vape. Thank you for watching the tutorial video for the V-Park Box 30 kit and vape on.